Hello folks, welcome back. Welcome back. For I'm the one, I'm the, one. The, only. the only, I am a hobo Tom. Tom. And I'm here because I have three things I have to do. One, I have a little rant and rave about AEW. And probably more so Ticketmaster. Two, a bunch of thank yous to give. And three, it's that time of year, folks. TNA Wrestling's back. Total, non-stop action wrestling with hard to kill. So let's see here. Um, before all that happens, hit my music. Let's see here. Um, I think one my rant and rave about AEW. I had a choice today, and I chose wisely because I chose to stay at my house. I had a female friend came over, and you know what? Let's just say I need to change the sheets. But yeah, uh, she came over after work. We haven't seen each other. The last time we saw each other, I was sick, so I didn't want to transmit any bodily fluids to her. And make her get sick. So we hung out a little bit. But today was different. Yeah, today's a sheet changing day. So yeah, you can imagine what happened there. Um, came over about 4.30ish. Stayed till 6. I'm happy she's she left happier. And yeah, that was it. So if I wanted to go see AEW, in theory I could have. So it takes me an hour and a half to get to Jacksonville. And I'd have to buy the ticket, run. But this is my thing. So I have to get on. Getting old sucks. These on. So as of literally right now, at 8 o'clock p.m., the start of the show, they still have tickets for sale. The lowest one being... Holy crap, they still have... Yeah. So the lowest ticket price right now, wherever road 202 is, I have no idea. It's 25.25. That's verified resale. Then 27, 29, 35. And then after that, it jumps up to 40. Let's see, I have to figure out where the cameras are. There we go. So 40 bucks. That's before Ticketmaster puts into effect its fees, which I know can range anywhere from like $5 to $11. And they have a whole bunch of other stuff. So that means that $25 ticket goes up to $35 pretty quickly. I'm driving a good solid hour and a half. So it's a three hour round trip. Hour and a half up there, hour and a half back. Um, especially in at six o'clock with traffic in Jacksonville. Ooh, that's that's way too tight. <laughs> tight, she's tight. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, that's way too a constrained time frame to really get there at seven thirty. So then you have to spend money on gas. Everyone knows about gas prices. So the tickets say $35. That sounds about right. If you feel like correcting me, leave a comment. Gas, because I have a truck, it's going to cost me $70. That sounds about right. Three something dollars a get, three something gallon, 25 gallons. That's probably pretty close. Then you have to get food because you do have to eat something. Even if I just ate at Wawa or if I stopped at a gate for an egg salad sandwich, that's still going to be about $15. So 35, 7 is 105. So just for one person. Oh, because God knows I'm not getting food there. It costs $125 to 
to rush around like a maniac for a card that, I mean, minus one match is fairly mid. So here, again, you have an eight man Samoa Joe. An eight woman. Hmm. Unless the top or bottom comes off in that eight woman match. Meh. Uh, Cesaro versus Hangman Adam Page. What's this? Getting old sucks. Sammy Guevara. Bitch. Taking on Ricky Starks. And then you have a tag team match of Kineska to of Nusuke Takeshita and Powerhouse, Powerhouse Hub versus Sting. Sting! And Darby Allen. With possibly Rick. Woo! Flair there. So, yeah. Um, so, in the women's match, Thunder Rosa, Chris Statlander, Willow Nightingale. Anna J. Anna J turned face? That's weird. Versus Julia Hart, Soraya, Sky Blue, and Ruby Riot. Ugh. I don't know. I think I made the. I think I made the more correct choice there. So yeah. So. Unless you live in the greater Jacksonville area, and, you, and if you really have to drive there, spend the 120 bucks between, because you do need some dinner. I mean, that's pretty cheap, 15 bucks for sandwich, chips, soda, and maybe dessert. From either Wawa or Gate. That's not even saying if you got somewhere good. Cause God knows I can't afford a freaking $11 beer. I'm not paying $5 for, for a bottle of soda. Nor am I paying, I think it was $15 for... And a meh cheeseburger. That's not happening. I don't even think they had cheeseburgers. I forget. But yeah. It wouldn't have been that good. So yeah. So unless you want to do that. And not so much AEW, but this is my other quick little rant. Wrestling hasn't come to Daytona Beach in a while. Besides, besides the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. So yeah. There hasn't been a lot of wrestling. I think last time was like a year ago in August. Not this past August, but a year before that. Wow, it has been a while. Not good. So yeah, I don't know what it is with Pro Wrestling Daytona Beach. It is odd though. I, you can go watch some of my other videos I've made about when Pro Wrestling comes to Daytona Beach. just tends to be odd. So yeah, AEW is kind of pricing itself out. I don't know if it's that AEW or potentially even if it's um, Ticketmaster. And I've said many a time about my qualms about Ticketmaster. And I'm sure other people have too. So that's part one. Part two. Dude, my readers, age sucks. Except for I guess I do look more dignified, I guess. I just look older. Go from my age to like plus 20 right now. So I have some thank yous to give out. <laughs> Seaman Punk. Thank you for your comments, sir. You earned that six count. Darkwing Dick, you sir are a master of your airy guitars.
Kamikaze! You know about all that ass. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Butter tech. You're chilling out with your briefcase boombox? Lexus King's biggest fan. You can crawl out of here. And finally, last but not least, Sai. You, sir, you win by a dirty pin. So those are my thank yous from those interacting with me while I was watching AEW World's End. Now let's get to what I'm sure my clickbait told everyone I'd be doing, and that is going to be I'm going to be talking about AE about TNA wrestling. Remember, they changed, decided to change their names. Oh, my glasses for these too. Shoot. But yeah, so it's going to be TNA wrestling hard to kill predictions. So on the undercard, I think the show starts at seven, which is good because I get off work. At 7, I'll catch a little bit of it. It only takes me 15 minutes to get home. They probably won't have a match right away, so I should be able to catch most of this show. And if I read the card right, so we're going to have the pre-show. It's going to be one match, three matches. Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers versus Eric Young, the man with the gravelliest voice in wrestling. And Frankie Kazarian, I think Eric Young and Frankie Kazarian are going to win. Um, a match. Which one could you actually... You could just even skip this. I'll say it's my snooze match because I don't know what else it is. You have Tommy Dreamer versus Crazy Steve. Let's get real. Tommy Dreamer is going to retire eventually. Crazy Steve's going to win. Tommy Dreamer's going to put Crazy Steve over. At least I think so. Then you have Rich Swan versus Steve Macklin. You know what? I think eventually they're going to put that belt on Steve Macklin. So yeah, I'm going to say Steve Macklin wins. I'll change that up. That's not going to be bad. Oh, and, and then I guess to open the show, it's going to be PCO, the Canadian Frankenstein versus Dirty Dango. Gee, you could have slept through this too. I don't know. This might be interesting. PCO is going to do something crazy. PCO wins. Now we have a women's... Not X Division. Is it X Division? Let me go ch check something out very quickly. I know it's a bunch of women. I forget exactly what they called it though. I have to take these off because I cannot see my computer screen with them on. But let's see here. Impact Wrestling. All things load up the circle of doom. So in a knockout, ultimate X, you have Tasha Steeles versus Alicia versus Lisha Edwards versus Gazelle Shaw versus Jody Threat versus Zaya Brookside versus Danny Luna. I have no idea. Tasha Seals is not going to win. Lisha Edwards, 
Jody Threat are consummate jobbers. I'm going to go on a limb and say Danny Luna wins. Uh, I could be as good as anyone. So, yeah. Then, oh, who's going to? In my match of the night. Wait a second. Why is the X Division always match of the night? Tells you something about that division. Chris Saban versus Kushida versus Io del Vikingo. You know what? Chris Saban's going to drop that belt. They're going to reform. Motor City. Motor City. Oh, yeah. There we go. Have them come back. Um, Kushida's going to win. I think they're really high on that. Yeah, then... In the tag team match. Tag team four-way. Yeah, Oh, wait a second. How could I ever forget this? Let's see here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And, yep. Bullet Club, because they're too sweet for life. Yep, and those members is going to be from the Finesse Club, Chris Bay and his partner, Ace Austin. Versus the Rascals versus Trent Severn and Mike Bailey versus grizzled young veterans. I've always been impressed the way Impact, TNA, whatever, have treated people coming in. They do give them a big push. The grizzled Young veterans are going to win. New tag team champions. Uh, Josh Alexander versus Alex Hammerstone. Alex Hammerstone is coming from GCW. Or MLW. Or, yeah, one of those. I forget which one. I'm almost... Josh has been a staple... And I know. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot that match. But I don't know when his contract's up. Because so that is a determining factor in one of my matches. Only because it's someone coming in, I'm going to say Alexander Hamilstone, or Alex Hammerstone, is going to win. That's why. Then the next match in my stone cold lock of the night. Jordan Grace is going to defeat Trinity for the knockout's champion. There are a couple of reasons why I think this. One, Trinity's contract's coming up. And the rumor mills and the dirt sheets, not dirty sheets. That's what I have in my bedroom right now. Dun dun. dun. Um, no, but the wrestling dirt sheets, they have Trinity wanting to go back to WWE. Her contracts due up. 
Jordan Grace is going to win. And that's my stone cold lock of the night. And then in your main event of the evening, one half of the Motor City Machine Guns, Alex Shelley takes on the man from Moose Nation. He is the wrestling god, Moose. Moose. And there's only going to be one winner. And this is for the TNA Championship. Only because he's held it before. Moose. Moose. Moose wins. But again, that could be interesting. Yeah, and all these matches are really good. I mean, this card itself, I know it's a pay-per-view. I think everyone uses that term except for WWE nowadays. Actually, Impact used to call their events premium events like once a month then had like real pay-per-views every so often. But yeah, so this pay-per-view, TNA Hard to Kill, I'll tell you what, it's going to be pretty good, I think. I think it's probably going to be over in a good time. I don't see it going past midnight, which is good. So I have to wake up at five something in the morning on Sunday. I mean, that's a sober up, eat dinner. Because I work Sunday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. So yeah. So those are my predictions. Again, leave a comment. Did you like my rants and raves? Did you like the little thank you videos I send out? Do you think I have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about? Or my TNA predictions are all going to be dead wrong or spot on right? Again, feel free to leave a comment. Actually, I should check my email too. Since I have some time. Send an email, hobo and girl, hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, everyone. The next time you'll see me will be Saturday night, baby. When you do my RRNR show for Hard to Kill. The next thing. Not next week. The following week. That last week in January. Check out my special presentation. About what happens. goes, But the goings on. At the BMW 4 Hour Endurance Challenge. And the Rolex 24.